Hey y'all, what's going on? Just to let y'all know in advance, I will not be watching my mouth. So if you're going to be easily triggered, this is not the content for you. Me and my subscribers have real discussions about trending topics going on all around the world. We can either agree to disagree or we can agree to agree. So with that disclaimer being said, let's get into this video. World is ruling by Shao Kahn. 80% out of 100 is kind. Really don't care about time. Better like lime. Make a short victory mine. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Tosh, a.k.a. Coco Bone, coming at y'all with a very different video. Now, as y'all know, I'm not the one to always, you know, talk about conspiracy theories quotation mark but i do have a big interest within these conspiracy theory topics now please know for disclaimer purposes i am not saying what i am saying is true i am just speculating and i'm breaking down the recent music video before takeoff had passed away may he rest in peace by the way so sorry that he had to go out like this but i really truly believe that there's something more to the story and it's on some like illuminati sacrifice type stuff you guys i mean this type of stuff gets exposed all the time where when you get to that level of fame and fortune you have to give up a loved one or a friend or whoever's close to you in order to have something held over your head as blackmail for you to get higher up on the ladder of success and fame and fortune for the rest of your days as you live so with all that being said, I don't want to make this video too long because I'm kind of tired and I really want to take a nap. I'm not going to waste time getting into takeoff passing away. Obviously, you guys have heard the breaking news. If you didn't, yes, unfortunately, takeoff has passed away. But I want to get into the death of their music video called Messy. The music video has so much symbolism and we're going to point this out right now. So just stay tuned. OK, so I just want to point out before we get into the video, I want y'all to look at what channel this video was under. And as you can see, it's under Quavo Hancho. And I'm gonna get into Quavo's ass at the very end. So please stay tuned. But I just wanna point that out for my rant about Quavo at the very end of this video. As it starts off with, you know, take off, rapping his chorus and whatnot, and about to rap his verse. The first room that we go into is a room full of kids. Three kids, two girls and one boy sitting on the ground watching these other two young boys look like they're having a dispute or an argument about something and I noticed how the little young one that's light-skinned just like Quavo is wearing the QC quality I think it's quality control music label chain because I always seen Quavo with that chain so I feel like that little kid was representing Quavo and I feel like that scene was representing the argument and dispute between him and Offset and it really makes me question is this the reason why Offset and Cardi B ain't messing with Quavo because maybe they had a disagreement about how Quavo was planning to allegedly getting takeoff aired out or pow pow out because he wants more fame and fortune for himself it really makes me wonder is this the reason why him and Offset really truly ain't messing with each other and Cardi B obviously ain't messing with him and then the kids on the ground is representing Offset Sweetie and Cardi B so I think that's very interesting. So after the scene with the kids, now we go to the next scene in the next room where it's these two guys playing cards and they have money on the table as well. And then as you can see, they're getting into it with each other because of the card game. Hence, the whole takeoff had got murdered in a game of rolling dice. That's like a prediction. Like it's like a plan out of this happening to take off. Like this was like meant to happen basically. So. So in another scene going on to the next room it's a room where it looks like you know these teenagers are having like a food fight and an older lady and it looks like it's kind of symbolizing the older generation trying to tell the younger kids to chill out and stop you know all this destruction amongst each other as younger kids but the kids are proceeding to be destructive and to have a food fight anyway representing how they are corrupting the youth with their toxic 
toxic masculinity and their toxic behavior and their toxic narcissistic attitude. So now we go and get into the scene with Quavo and his scene is very interesting. So we see Quavo laying on the bed and that's supposed to be Sweetie and Offset behind him doing their thing, but we're not paying attention to that right now. What we're paying attention to is that H ring on his finger. That is a representation of Houston because that's where the murder happened of takeoff was in Houston. So that's one clue. Then the gun in the contract to me represents how Quavo was basically trying to set up a deal, allegedly, that he wants to give up his nephew for the contract. And the way that he's about to give up his nephew is through gun violence. So that's why we see the contract and then we see the gun. We also take a closer look at the kind of pants and the outfit at the very end of this video he is wearing. His pants has a bunch of creepy looking hands on it and the hands honestly reminds me of the fiery pits of hell. It reminds me of like dead souls or dead hands coming from out the fiery pits of hell. So it makes me wonder like was Quavo trying to represent the devil in the scene because you got the contract which indicates that you had made a deal with the devil in order to keep your fame going you're giving up a blood sacrifice allegedly which is your nephew and you gave up your nephew for the contract which is what the gun is representing and then the weird looking creepy pants that you're wearing is representing that you drag your nephew's soul down to hell just so that you can still be Quavo to the whole entire world for your fame and fortune allegedly now in the next scene this is a clear creepy giveaway literally take off standing next to a sign of a grim reaper and it says r.i.p on it right before he got murdered this was literally the day before he got murdered and he's standing next to a sign a grim reaper sign that says r.i.p this ain't no fucking coincidence so at the very end of this video we see quavo and take off walk Walking through the hallway where they look like they're trying to just basically get out of the house because there's so much like craziness and corruption going on but the house to me represents hell it looks crazy it looks spooky i understand they was trying to go for the halloween theme but again a lot of y'all gotta read in between the lines you have to read in between the lines there's no way in hell that this is a coincidence and as they're walking through the hallway before they walk out you see the kids behind them turning up you know with confetti and partying and i feel like that's representing either quavo successfully sacrificing allegedly sacrificing his nephew to the higher ups in order for more fame and fortune or this is representing that the kids are happy about the corruption that is being played amongst them by takeoff and quavo and then after that that's when the video ends so after breaking all of that down my rant about quavo i think quavo is a narcissistic asshole quavo to me for so many years out of the migos has always given off like just very narcissistic i only care about me do what thou wilt type of like person it's like if it ain't about him it ain't about nothing and i feel like he's the type where he always wants attention all the time he wants all the attention on him and he was going to be the grimy one to take down his nephews because mind you he's the uncle take off and offset were the nephews so obviously he's a little more older than them but i feel like because because he's the oldest what do some toxic older people do what do some grimy older people do what the grimy older person does is they play their intelligence onto the youth and they manipulate the youth with their intelligence in order to get to where they gotta go they're not slow ain't nothing slow about him he has more experience on earth than his nephews obviously and this is probably one of the reasons why offset and cardi b ain't messing with quavo because quavo is thirsty for the fame and the money he will take out even his own blood his own family allegedly just to get to where he got to go 
and people like Quavo, yeah, he's handsome. I'm pretty sure he has a big eggplant, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got money, he dressed nice, he smelled good. We get all of that. But this man is the devil himself. Like, in my opinion, he is the devil to me. He's always just had this narcissistic vibe. And it doesn't surprise me how the video is number one trending on his YouTube page that says Quavo Honcho. So it would not surprise me if Quavo has set all this up, allegedly, to have his music video or him and Takeoff music video on his YouTube channel to trend at number one just for more fame and fortune. And I think this type of wickedness that lives amongst us is sick. This right here is the reason why I'm not too fond on trying to be a part of the high-end A-list celebrity industry because it just seems like you gotta really be on some weirdo shit and you gotta accept how the higher ups want to basically blackmail you in order for you to have more fame and fortune because trust and believe me Quavo time is coming we gonna hear some about Quavo we ain't gonna believe it because he didn't somehow either pissed off the elites or he has nothing else to give nothing else to sacrifice nothing else to hold over him he's not talented no more he's not bringing in money no more his time it will be up and now they're going to either ruin his reputation or God forbid, something unfortunately might, you know, coincidentally happen to Quavo from the higher ups because the higher ups no longer had no more use for him. And this is one of the reasons why I'm not too fond on trying to be a part of the industry. The industry is foul. It's messed up. It's crazy. It's weird as fuck. And I'm fine with where I'm at. I'm fine with taking the long way out. I'm fine with building up longevity. And I will always be fine with building up my own fan base without signing my name on a dotted line in blood to any of these major companies because these major companies have the devil behind it and I would not trust it if I was you. But that is my take and my full breakdown on the music video called Messy. I was gonna do like an on-camera reaction to it, but I really just wanted to hurry up and get this out. Leave your opinion down below. How do you guys feel about this breakdown? Did you guys notice the symbolism as well? And if this video gets taken down, you guys, it's not my fault. This video will also be on my Patreon, so please make sure to sign up for my Patreon for I will be making more videos like this on my patreon versus on youtube you won't see videos like this on my actual youtube page a lot but you will see it on my patreon so please make sure to sign up for that but anyway you guys make sure to like comment subscribe share show your girl some love help your girl get to 3,000 subs make sure to leave some suggestions in the comment section down below and please give me a big thumbs up for it helps to push my videos further out into the algorithm i'm out this bitch deuces we live in the world is extremely so cruel Hitting below the bell, man, that's not cool My feelings is numb to the point where I got a fork And I'm just eating this sauce like it's food yeah. Bitch, when I'm corny, it ain't gonna be shit Bitches is hoping I die when I'm sick I might as well go to the sex store to buy me a strap on to wear Cause they all on my dick Worry about me, what I just do Worry about me and what I just said The audience look at your life as a boo A fake as the snake when the real skin have shed 